Here it is. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and clap. All right. And we're live. What's going on guys? This is Kevin, the tech ninja, and this is a video that has been requested a lot and it's something I've been meaning to make for a while. So guys, do me a favor, press the thumbs up right now because I do listen to you guys and that is uber important that a YouTuber listens to their fans. But you guys have been asking for this video, so here it is. This is my editing setup, how I edit, how I get organized, how I edit as fast as humanly possible, all that stuff. Now I decided to shoot this video sort of vlog style, not too much editing, but kind of a conversation between you and I discussing my editing methods and things like that. Now, everyone can edit differently. This is a method I've been using for a couple years now and it's been pretty fast for me. Without further ado, my name is Kevin the Tech Ninja and this is how to edit videos like a ninja. The first step for video creation is the script. Now for me, getting the script is the most important thing because I build what I shoot around the script. Now, when I'm reviewing a phone, in this case, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it like a phone, is I have a Google Keep document that I keep right here. And on this document, I write observations about the phone. I talk about battery life, how hot it gets and those little miscellaneous things you really can't look up on spec sheets. So it's very, very important to get these little nuances. You can always look up specs later, but the nuances of using a phone as your daily driver, these are things that I like to keep. And then I take these notes and actually write a full story out, a full script. I don't have a template, but I write a full story. After I have all that stuff written down, the next step of the creation process is to actually record the audio. Now recording the audio, there's two different ways of doing it. Um, you could do a roll like you see me now, and I do have a teleprompter, which actually goes over the lens. You can't see it, but it goes over the lens. I'm using the Parrot 2. Uh, I will link that below, or I can do it where it's just B-roll only. And so when it comes to actually shooting the B-roll, what I do is actually play the audio as I'm shooting the B-roll to ensure I'm getting the shots that I'm talking about. And once I feel I'm in a rhythm and I have my shots after I do everything, then from there, I start blasting music or play a documentary or something while I'm shooting the video. Now, as you guys know, I've been mixing in drone shots. I have a Phantom 4 drone that I absolutely love to use every day. And with the Phantom 4, I'm able to get these crazy aerial shots. And even if the video is not about air, anything aerial, I will like to do an opening shot of me of like flying into a park or something like that, just to kind of capture your interest. Now. If you don't have access to a drone, you can also get stock footage and you can actually use videoblocks.com. They're actually sponsoring this video. So let's discuss video blocks and how you can use that to make your videos a lot better. Now, video blocks has one of the largest stock libraries on the web with over 2 million videos, after effects and motion backgrounds. All memberships come with a 100% royalty free agreement. So you can use their videos and commercial projects too. So in this example, type in drone footage, and from there you get the footage you want and use it however you want. It's usually $149 a year, but this holiday season they are offering an exclusive $50 off discount. So you get access to this massive video library and royalty free license for $50 off. Go to videoblocks.com slash holidays or click in the description box below to get your $50 off. Now taking all this stuff we just shot and taking the audio um, and putting it together to actually edit the video, couple ways of doing that. What I like to do is I run the audio through Adobe Audition. You don't have to do this step, but it, I grew up using Adobe products. I've been using Adobe products for over 10 years. Run through it that way and edit the, the audio, cut stuff out that doesn't sound good. And when I'm done, amplify it up to the proper levels. And then once I do that, I then save it as lossless just to get the best audio quality as possible. Then I head over to Final Cut. I open a template that I made already and the template has my background music, my intro, and all of my lower thirds that pop up. So have those things made already. I duplicate it so I don't overwrite the original and then I drop in my audio. Now that I have my audio laid down, I then take all my B-roll that I shot and I slap it into Final Cut. 
Now, what's pretty cool about the way I shoot B-roll is that I shoot it in groups. So I'll shoot everything about display, I'll shoot everything about build, shoot everything about performance at one time, and then I could put everything in a folder. So then I take these clips from the folder, drop in a Final Cut, and then Final Cut retains the folder structure. So I know exactly what clips are in what folder. So when it comes to something like in a video where I say, hey guys, the screen is a quad HD, uh, 1440p display and it has so many pixels per inch. I can go to my display folder and from there I can grab the clips and slap it in there and we are good to go. And once I do that, I line everything up. It's like a big puzzle. You line everything in there, make sure it goes good, make sure it flows good. And once you have all that stuff, um, what I do is I apply a color grade to one clip um, usually I shoot everything in the same environment. I do a color grade, which isn't anything crazy. I use the color controls built in the final cut. And once I have that done, I can then copy and paste that grade over to different clips and usually make small adjustments if need be. Now, once that is done, I watch the video a couple times, trim things up, make it pretty, add a couple transitions here and there. And that's really about it. I've been editing video for a very long time. I used to record basketball games and make my own highlight tapes and do announcing over and all that stuff. So like video editing to me is like super dope and super fun. So I just really enjoy doing it. And now that I'm able to do it professionally, my full-time job, I do video editing there. I do weddings. I do other side projects. I run the video announcements for my brother's church. And I do obviously YouTube as well. So uh, I'm always working on video and it's just something that's close to me and it's kind of synonymous with who I am and who I identify myself as. So anyways, guys, if you wanna know more and you actually wanna wor like work through a video with me and actually do some more in-depth editing, um, let me know. Leave a comment down below, smash that thumbs up button and uh, we'll go from there. As always, guys, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Make sure you hit my links down below and I'll talk to you folks later. Peace. say it again. Tell a friend to tell a friend that it's him again. Hey, yo, real talk, opinions gon' be sharper than 4K. Scope squad, eat it up, sim it and saute. Ninja got reviews and brands galore. You ain't never seen a channel like this before. No hashtag crispy around this runway. Utter out your mouth that you started with gun.